Hi everyone, uh, in today's video we are going to see how to use impersonation uh, inside a windows service. So as you can see, uh, this is a windows service. Uh, if you see the folder structure, you will get to know that yes, it's a windows service. The way I, I have used this in impersonation is uh, you, uh, by creating a class. Uh, I didn't write the whole code, uh, I just uh, gather this code uh, from different sources. So you might be able to copy it from the internet uh, while like uh, searching by doing that. The only purpose of showing it in here is uh, that uh, it can be used with Windows service as well. So most of the code is like uh, not showing anything where you can use it or not. So I will be just scrolling uh, like very slowly so that you can get the idea how I'm using it. So it's a impersonator class and it just uh, uh, creating a function uh, which takes some parameters and then it's uh, calling another constructor from it and another constructor. So this is uh, where uh, we will be providing the login provider and uh, inside that we have impersonator class which uh, uh, constructor in which uh, we will be passing all the stuff and inside that we create again the constructor and then inside uh, this uh, we create a function again and the main thing uh, which you need to uh, see is uh, the thing uh, which is used for uh, calling the function is first thing is this windows native method and that login user so you can uh, also use only this function in order to log in it the uh, thing which you will be needing uh, in order to log on to uh, impersonation is the username domain name and password so by using three names you can get a login in it but uh, the main purpose of using this is it's uh, uh, it's getting uh, all sorts of uh, different information from it so I just feel like uh, sharing this and this is some bunch of inputs and uh, this is the native method which we are using it in above so we have used DLL import and inside this uh, so this is the function which we really need it and by doing that we are uh, telling that we will be using that function so that uh, other class is able to see this function so this is uh, one function okay so this is the main function which is used for login to the user and then the duplicate token and all and the way I have used it is uh, inside this so whenever uh, it hit it will uh, log into the impersonation or uh, on start so when uh, the application was start it can use it here as well I still uh, need to test it uh, why we need to use it but uh, that's my requirement of the work to have impersonation logic it in here so can't comment on that why we need it so as you can see this is my username this is my the domain name and then the password so I will be posting uh, codes with my blog maybe after, uh, within a week so stay tuned if you are really interested in this so it's not much and I have nothing to show right now because uh, I'm using different authentication in here and it just uh, how you can use uh, this code inside a windows service so it can be used and i have checked it it's get logged in in my uh, office pc so uh, please contact me if you need this code and uh, i will be able to give it to you i guess so so thanks for watching have a nice day bye